Just a heartbreaking situation. We've learned one of the officers was a 22 year veteran. The other had been on the force for less than a year. Both said to be married with children. And you can see here a growing memorial outside of Del Monte Police Department headquarters with flowers and candles to honor those two officers. And this is what we know about the investigation so far. Around five yesterday evening, El Monte police officers responded to a call for a woman that was possibly stabbed at the Siesta Inn on Garvey Avenue. An officer arrived on scene. They were met by gunfire immediately after making contact contact with a woman and the suspect. When additional Monte police officers responded, another officer involved shooting occurred in the parking lot of the motel. A witness said they heard multiple shots fired. I saw two police officers run around their car and, you know, sliding on the ground trying to get cover. And yeah, after that, when I exited my vehicle and I looked out, uh, there was one man on the floor. The shooting suspect died at the scene and authorities say a weapon was recovered. Police did interview the woman after the shooting and say she was not stabbed. Two of the responding officers, though, were struck by gunfire and rushed to County USC Medical Center in critical condition. Sadly, they both later died from their injuries. These men were dedicated to their careers and even more so as sons, husbands and fathers. Please keep their families in your prayers. While we always stand behind our officers, today we mourn together and speak with a raised voice in appreciation, respect, and love for our law enforcement brothers and sisters. Today we stand in solidarity with them. After the tragic announcement was made, officers could be seen walking behind the corners van paying their respects. Also, a large procession of law enforcement vehicles was seen on the 10 freeway honoring the two officers. And the city of El Monte released a statement, part of it reading, There are no words to describe our grief and devastation by this senseless act. As we learned about the passing of two of our police officers, it weighs heavy on our hearts and we are sending our support to their families. Back here live at this time, the identities of the officers and suspect have not been released released officials calling the two officers heroes. Reporting live here in El Monte, I'm Erin Myers. I'll send it back to you in the studio.